So in this video, we are going to learn what the cubic spline interpolation or we call it as what function, cubic spline function. So we are taking up the first question. So obtain the cubic spline approximation for the function defined over here. So this is a function defined. So x values is given, corresponding f of x values are also given. Okay. We need to find f of 0 0.5. That means at x equal to 0 0.5, what will be f of x value? That's it. Okay. So what is the procedure? Let us try to understand. We will start with the first step. The basic first step is to first define n and h. n is basically how to count that is the important thing. Okay. Now starting with x values, corresponding corresponding f of x values also will be there. So how many values are there? 1, 2, 3. But the thing is that when you count n, always remember it starts with 0. Okay. So no matter what the values are given over here in x, always start with 0, 1, 2. This is the procedure for counting. So how many numbers are there? 0, 1, 2. So totally n value will be what? 2. Okay. Don't bother about this thing. I am not counting the x. Whatever is written over here, this value I am not counting. Always remember I am counting from suppose these values are different. Suppose 5, 6, 7. Then also I will start with what? 0, 1, 2. This is how I need to count n value is done. Next thing is that define h. h is the width of the interval. It will be the same. Equal intervals it will be split. So x based on x only you can write h value. So x interval x the width the size of the interval if you see is 0 to 1. What is the gap? 1 gap is there. 1 to 2. What is the gap? 1 gap. So everywhere they will give you the same equal interval only. That's why that's how you can define h. So h is nothing but the width of the x interval okay n is over h is over now next thing we have to give some initial approximation remember here capital m 0 is equal to i am going to give it as 0 and capital m n m n is equal to now what is n value n value is nothing but 2 so it is m 2 is equal to what 0 so both these values remember all the questions starting m0 will be 0 that is fixed and mn the end value n means the last value right 2 0 1 2 is there so m2 is equal to what 0 now in between you will be thinking where is m1 then see starting value is m0 ending value is m2 that we approximated as what 0 now what about m m1 that is the second step we are going to do so second step is basically Second step is to find the m1 value. Remember, here only n value is 2. So, 0, 1, 2. Correct? So, m0 already done. m2 already done. Now, we have to find m1. For that, we are going for the second step. We have to use one formula. That formula is So formula is given over here capital M i minus 1 4 m i m i plus 1 6 by h square it's already we defined f i plus 1 minus 2 f i plus f i minus 1 the simple formula is given now what about i i is basically it starts from 1 always it goes till n minus 1 so what's the meaning of that what is n value in the given question it is 2 so what is i minus 1 it is 2 minus 1 which is 1 so it starts from i equal to 1 again if you see n minus 1 it is 1 itself right 2 minus 1 is 1 that means only one value is there okay if suppose n is equal to 3 then i is equal to 2 also will come because 3 minus 2 is 2. 3 minus 1 is what 2 that's why okay so here only i is equal to what 1 so for i is equal to 1 we have to substitute in this formula and get what what we have to get we have to get m1 value simple so substituting i is equal to, i is equal to 1 what will happen to the formula m0 plus 4 m1 just i is equal to 1 you have substitute okay so m1 plus 1 is 2 is equal to 6 by h square what is h h is 1 1 square is 1 itself so directly you can write just 6 f2 2 f1 plus f0 okay 
now you may you might be thinking what is f2 f1 and all let us try to analyze here see x values we have given starting value always it will be x0 x1 x2 like we counted the n values right 0 1 2 same procedure here it will be f0 f1 f2 everywhere it will be same okay no change in that now here we can define now what is m0 m0 already we have approximated as what 0 so this value becomes 0 now next m2 also becomes 0 already we have approximated as 0 so what is left out 4 m1 is left out on the rh side 6 times of f2 what is f2 it is 3 from the given question minus 2 times of f1 value is minus 4 plus f0 is minus 5 okay so this becomes 6 times of 3 plus 2 times 4 is 8 so minus into minus is plus then minus 5 is it okay so what is the left out thing it will be 3 plus 8 is 11 11 minus 5 is what 6 6 into 6 times 6 is 36 so 4 m1 is equal to 36 that means m1 value becomes 36 by 4 which is equal to 9 so we got m1 value also so we have got all the values m0 we took it as 0 m1 we got 9 m2 we got what 0 done with that now we have to go for the cubic spline function in particular intervals we will try to analyze that in order to remember this formula this particular formula this particular formula is to just to find the whatever is in between this and this okay here only one value was there m1 we need to find that's why we use this formula everywhere we have to use that formula because suppose for example m0 is 0 if you uh, the last value suppose m3 is there m3 we approximated as 0 so m1 is 0 m0 is 0 and m3 between two values are there correct then also you will be using this formula itself so how to remember very simple m i minus 1 is there 4 m i is there then i plus 1 is there here if you see it is just the reverse of that i plus 1 has come then i minus 1 this thing reverse of this one then 2 times of f i remember here minus sign is there that's it 6 by h square we are multiplying anyway you have to find out some way to remember this formula okay let us go for the step 3 we have to find the cubic spline function in particular intervals for that one big formula is there it is quite i will tell you how to learn that so first we'll write the formula so capital f of x will consider we are why am i considering capital f of x because uh, uh, no need to get confused with this small f of x that's why i'm using capital f of x it is fine now this big formula you have to remember i'll just write it down so this is the formula that was i was talking about to find the cubic spline function in particular intervals so capital f of x is equal to 1 by 6 h i have taken now this particular part if you remember then rest all things so let's rest to summation part you can easily remember xi minus x the whole cube whole cube then m i minus 1 you are multiplying plus x minus x i minus 1 the whole cube into m i am multiplying okay remember this now plus what you have to do 1 by h now whatever is the starting part this starting part right same thing is over here xi minus x is there xi minus x is there cube is not there into multiplied with see m i minus 1 we have to take here also m i minus 1 if here m i minus 1 is there so here i have taken f i minus 1 so same thing if it is f2 here it will be m2 here same thing only will be there so whatever was there 6 by h square in the previous thing formula if you see this particular part i have just reversed that it is h square by 6 but minus is there now second part if you see 1 by h again this particular part you have to focus the same thing is over here okay now mi was there mi is there mi if it is there here fi will come that's it minus h square by 6 anyway you can find one your own way to remember this formula so three summation parts are there we have to substitute and get the value we'll start with the first one see here the thing is that for the second step as i said you have to use i is equal to 1 it will start from i is equal to 1 till where it will go n minus 1 since here n value is 1 so uh, sorry 2 so 2 minus 1 is what 1 so directly i is equal to 1 only you have to calculate because only one value is there to calculate that is fine so that was the thing over here 
but now what happens in uh, for substituting the thing always remember it will start from i is equal to 1 and it will go till n value so what is the n value n value is here 2 so i need to substitute two times so one is i is equal to 1 and another one is i is equal to 2 that's it no n minus 1 and all n minus 1 is for just is the second step remember in order to calculate m1 value whatever is the value required now here m i is equal to 1 and 2 let us substitute But you have to understand that to substitute i is equal to 1 i said i have to do two times substitution one is i is equal to 1 another one is i is equal to 2 when you substitute i is equal to 1 what is the meaning of that let us go back to the question itself see here in x i, ha I am having how many intervals intervals you have to understand not the points points are three intervals are how many 0 to 1 is one interval 1 to 2 is two interval so two intervals are there and what I said, I am going to do the two substitution. One is i is equal to 1 and i is equal to 2. Correct. So, when I substitute i is equal to 1, so which interval cubic spline function I will be getting? The first interval. Always remember all the questions. When you substitute i is equal to 1, you will be getting the cubic spline function in the first interval that is 0 to 1. That is what I have written here. When you substitute i is equal to 2, you will be getting the cubic spline function in the second interval that is 1 and 2. So that is why I have written over here substitute i is equal to 1 we get the cubic spline function in the first interval of the question that is 0 to 1 correct this you have to understand. Next going further we have to just substitute i is equal to 2 i is equal to 1 in this particular formula let us substitute that I am going to name it as what f1 of x for differentiating that is it okay. So what is h value remember h value is 1 so no need to put that h value 1 by 6 I directly write. Now substituting all, so i value is equal to 1, so it will become x1 minus x the whole cube, then m i minus 1 means 1 minus 1 is 0 plus x minus x, 1 minus 1 is 0, x0, zero. whole cube is a, then m0, sorry, then m1 is there, this particular part is done, now plus 1 by h, so 1 by 1 is nothing but 1 itself so no need to write that now x minus x x i minus x is there, the same thing the same thing copy this x 1 minus x into f 1 minus 1 is what 0 so f 0 minus h square by 6 into m 0 now what is h square h square is 1 directly so i will write 1 by 6 into this one plus now this particular part it will be same as this one x minus x naught into f 1 minus 1 by 6 into m 1. So, this is the first substitution part is done. Now, I have to put all the values over here. So, what all things I am required uh, in this formula is required x 1 is there ok fine x 0 is there that is also fine then f 0 and f 1 is there m 1 and m 0 is there all the values are required right. So, I am just going to write it over here, what all values are there, just to copy it from there, right. So, this cubic spline function we have got. Now, I have written here that I have just taken 1 by 2 outside. Okay. So, in this function, if you take 1 by 2 outside, so this will get multiplied by 2. I hope you understood, I understood that part. That is why 10 is there. Okay. This I have taken LCM. That is why I got x by 2. Everything is uh, just simplification. Now, here, this particular function I have written x lies between 0 to 1. Why I have written? Because as I said, i is equal to 1 i substituted. That is why it became, a, it lies in what? First interval, 0 to 1. Okay. Next, we have to go for 
x between 1 to 2. So, for that I have to substitute i is equal to 2. So, second substitution i is equal to 2, we get the cubic spine function in the second interval of x which is 1 to 2. So, in this particular function again I have to substitute i value as what? 2. What is that? Now what you have to do? In this what all values are required? x2 is the x1 is the f2, m2, f1, m1. All these values you have to write it down. So I will just write over here what all things are there. Now this particular f2x of x function lies between x value lies between what 1 to 2 we have already discussed why it lies between 1 to 2 because we are substituting what i is equal to 2 so that's why the cubic spline function will be in the second interval 1 to 2. Now the question asks we have found everything two functions we required we found out the, those two now uh, the so what was asked in the question we had to find out the f of 0.5 now tell me that x equal to 0.5 lies in which interval first or second see 0.5 lies between 0 and 1 that means it lies over here 0.5 correct so i have to put the x value as 0.5 in the first interval that means when x lies between 0 and 1 so that means here 0 and 1 so this particular function f1 of x i have to substitute what whatever is the last value this particular value in that i have to substitute x value as 0.5 to get the value of f of x okay so i am going to substitute over there so i need to find f of 0.5 and i know that x belongs to what whatever the x value is as 0.5 so i am just going to write 0.5 belongs to the interval 0 to 1 so that f1 of that function only I have to substitute. So in that place I am going to substitute. So what was the function? It was 1 by 2 3x cube minus x minus 10. In this I am going to substitute x as what 0.5. You will be getting the answer as directly I am going to write 5.0625 minus 5.0625. You can verify here also. See after 0 0.5 it lies between what this and this. Oh it does not lie here. Uh, I no need to tell no need to tell that. So here you can write the final answer f of 0 0.5 is equal to minus 5.0. 625.